Folk Embroidery by Kathy Nichols is the February Stencil Girl Stencil Club set. Here's Kathy to tell you all about it. Hello, Stencil Club. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I am just over the moon to be here sharing my new Folk Embroidery Stencil set with you, um, made exclusively for Stencil Club, of course. And I'm thrilled to be able to tell you a little bit about the inspiration behind this stencil set. So as most of you who are artists as well, um, began, you began drawing when you were a kid, probably in your sketchbook, and you probably had your favorite things that you liked to draw. Maybe it was horses, maybe it was hearts, maybe it was um, just putting colors on the page. Um, and I think that the things that we loved as children come through us as adults. And that is exactly what happened with this particular stencil set that I'm going to share with you. Because as a child, my favorite thing to draw was something called store. So what that meant was I would get a big white piece of paper and I would draw these clothes, these tiny little clothes, um, on little tiny hangers. And each one had a design on them in little tiny details. I've always been really interested in like these little embellishments and that's a big part of my artwork and I think part of me always wanted to be a fashion designer but the problem was I never could learn to sew but I still love to put these embroidered elements kind of like what I'm wearing today um, this is my favorite kind of clothing and it's also very much the inspiration for the stencil set and for a lot of the embroidered look of my artwork, which I'm going to show you. Um, so I have a piece here, it's called We Are Always Connected, and this is an encaustic piece, but what I do with this to mimic embroidery and what I've always done is to use my stylus to make little marks that look like embroidery. Now this is a dark piece, I don't know if you can see it too well, but I have another piece here where you can see the marks a little bit better. It's just a way that I like to um, embellish my pieces and add line to them. And I, I've been told many times that it looks like embroidery. And so what I decided to do was to actually take up embroidery. And I learned to embroider um, this cute little butterfly from a book. I have the book here to share with you. Here it is. Here it is. Also an inspiration. Modern folk embroidery. Beautiful, beautiful embroidered patterns in here. And I took a class online about, you know, using embroidery to do portraits and, and freehand as well. So I, I'm very proud of the eyes here, embroidered eyes. The point is, I learned a lot about embroidery because of my love for this kind of folk embroidery look and my love for putting in my art. Here's another shirt that's sort of an inspiration. And you may have seen this look in artwork before. Maybe you like it too. I hope so because the stencil set that I created for you is, I'm going to show you on a black background what it looks like. So this is, with the, this is not the art yet, but this is the stencil. So they're interlocking pieces. Oh, I've used this. This actually has another part inside of it here, right here. Um, so there's a main piece that is a lot like the shirt. See, there's sort of a mirror design, folk design. And then I also have two other pieces that are meant to be, um, you can interchange them. Like I have this bunny here. You know, you might want to just do the bunny, but you can also do um, the bunny as part of this design too. You could block out one of the flowers and instead put the bunny in there. Again, you can mirror them, right? And then on the other, <laughs> on the other side too. And another part that I, another piece I created is this piece, which I'll show you too, which is again, it's, um, it's similar to the motifs that you might see on embroidered fashion, uh, quilting, things like that. Things I've always, always loved, but just really could never sew well enough to do um, with sewing. So I absolutely am excited to share what you can do with these stencils because you can do so much with them. Um, you can block out certain points as I, parts as I mentioned. Uh, you can just take some of the patterns and make them into new repeats. And also I added a border to the bunny, which I don't know if you saw in that first shot, 
but there's a little border for this bunny and then you can also have your own embroidered patterns that you work into what you create. Uh, the border you could do all the way around your piece. Um, you could also use these little embroidered designs over here to just do a fun background too. There's lots of possibility with this set and I cannot wait to show you what we're going to create today. So I'm going to show you the final piece and then I'm going to show you how we can make it together and how you can make one for yourself. So here is the final piece that I created using the folk embroidery stencil. And as you can see, I integrated the various different stencil parts into this design. So we have the bunny. Oh. <laughs> the bunny over here, right? And of course there's the main stencil, which is the main piece. I blocked out some of the leaves down here just because I wanted to add in this other piece at the bottom. And then I embellished it using um, not just a marker, which I did for a lot of the stitches here, but actually in, I also embroidered the paper too. And I'm going to show you how to do this. This is just a really fun project, I think, for anyone who loves to embellish details. Because you can make it as plain as you want to, and then you can use your markers or your... Um, I used Jelly Roll markers, Jelly Roll... Um, Sakura Jelly Roll Moonlight Pens to do the embellishment and you could use those and, and you can just do really tiny, fun, fine details that look like embroidery on top of the design and it gives it that really um, intricate, beautiful look. And this is a journal. So I'm showing you how to make a journal that you can use for your own designs and your own artwork and just something really fun and fresh on a black background because I like the way that the Moonlight Jelly Roll pens really pop on there. So I can't wait to show you how to do this and I'm going to do that now. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, Stencil Club stencil sets ship on the 15th of the month and members will be able to access the designer's exclusive project video and PDF. Need stencils? Just click the link below. Happy stenciling!